हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ लुक एट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक then we will discuss about the measurement of biodiversity patterns of biodiversity importance to ecosystem loss of biodiversity biodiversity conservation and way forward first of all let's have a look at the brief introduction of the topic in our biosphere immense diversity exists not only at the species level but at all levels of biological organization biodiversity is the term popularized by the sociobiologist Edward Wilson to describe the combined diversity at all the levels of biological organization genetic diversity when a single species shows high diversity at the genetic level over its distributional range it is called genetic diversity for example india has more than 50000 genetically different strains of rice species diversity the diversity at the species level species differ from one another and do not interbreed in nature ecological diversity at the ecosystem level it refers to different types of habitats for example india has a great ecological diversity with its deserts rainforest mangroves coral reefs wetlands estuaries etc now let's discuss about the measurement of biodiversity Biodiversity is measured by two major components species richness and species evenness species richness it is the measure of number of species found in a community alpha diversity it refers to the diversity within a particular area or ecosystem and is usually expressed by the number of species that is species richness in that ecosystem beta diversity it is a comparison of diversity between ecosystems usually measured as the change in number of species between the ecosystems gamma diversity is a measure of the overall diversity for the different ecosystems within a region species evenness it measures the proportion of species at a given site example low evenness indicates that a few species dominate the site now let's have a look at the patterns of biodiversity The diversity of plants and animals is not uniform throughout the world but shows a rather uneven distribution. Latitudinal gradients in general species diversity decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles. With very few exceptions tropics latitudinal range of 23.5 degrees north to 23.5 degrees south harbor more species than temperate or polar areas. The largely tropical Amazonian rainforest in South America has the greatest biodiversity on the earth. Altitudinal gradients, mountains with their isolated position and altitudinal belts are hotspots of biodiversity. Their flora and fauna have been observed worldwide since the days of Alexander von Humboldt. There is strong evidence that in many cases biodiversity reaches a maximum, particular middle elevation. The vascular plant species diversity in western Norway remains unchanged up to 900 to 1000 meter and then starts to decrease. A biodiversity reaches its peak for vascular plants at middle elevations in the western Himalayas in India. Now let's discuss about the importance to ecosystem. For many decades ecologists believed that communities with more species generally tend to be more stable than those with less species. A stable community should not show too much variation in productivity from year to year. It must be either resistant or resilient to occasional disturbances and it must also be resistant to invasions by alien species. David Tillman found that plots with more species showed less year to year variation in total biomass. He also showed that in his experiments increased diversity contributed to higher productivity. Biodiversity provides many services for human beings like protection of water resources, soil formation, nutrient storage, food, woods, ornaments, etc. Now let's discuss about the loss of biodiversity. The biological wealth of our planet has been declining rapidly and the accusing finger is clearly pointing to human activities. Man-made causes like habitat loss, hunting and poaching are more responsible than the natural causes like flood and earthquake. The colonization of tropical Pacific islands by humans is said to have led to the extinction of more than 2000 species of native birds. 
द आई सी एन रेड लिस्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर डॉक्यूमेंट्स द एक्सटिंक्शन ऑफ सेवन एटी फोर स्पीशीज इंक्लूडिंग थ्री थर्टी एट वर्टिब्रेड्स थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन इन वर्टिब्रेड्स एंड एटी सेवन प्लांट्स इन द लास्ट फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स अलोन हैव विटनेस्ड द डिसअपियरेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन स्पीशीज कॉजेज ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉसेज आर हैबिटेट लॉस एंड फ्रेगमेंटेशन ओवर एक्सप्लॉयटेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एलियन स्पीशीज इन्वेजन एंड को एक्सटिंक्शंस नॉ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट बायोडाइवर्सिटी कंजर्वेशन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी लीड्स टू कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एसेंशियल इकोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी एंड प्रिजर्व द कॉन्टीन्यूटी ऑफ फूड चेन्स कंजर्वेशन कैन बी डन इन टू वेज एक्स सी टू एंड इन सी टू कंजर्वेशन एक्स सी टू कंजर्वेशन कंजर्विंग बायोडाइवर्सिटी आउटसाइड द एरियाज वेयर दे नेचुरली अकर इज नोन एज एक्स सी टू कंजर्वेशन Here animals are reared or plants are cultivated like zoological parks or botanical gardens seed banks botanical horticultural and recreational gardens are important centers for ex situ conservation in situ conservation conserving the animals and plants in their natural habitat is known as in situ conservation the established natural habitats are national parks sanctuaries biosphere reserves reserved forest and protected forest now lastly let's discuss about the way forward rich biodiversity is not only essential for ecosystem health but imperative for the very survival of the human race on this planet biodiversity knows no political boundaries and its conservation is therefore a collective responsibility of all nations the convention on biological diversity held in rio de janeiro in 1992 called upon all nations to take appropriate measures it was for the conservation of biodiversity and sustainable utilization of its benefits in a follow up the world summit on sustainable development 190 countries pledged their commitment to achieve a significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss by 2010 now it's time for the practice questions first of all note down the prelims question Consider the following statements: One, biodiversity is normally greater in the lower latitudes as compared to the higher latitudes. Two, along the mountain gradients, biodiversity is normally greater in the lower altitudes as compared to the higher altitudes. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. Now it's time for the mains question. This question was asked in 2018 exam also. Question is. How does biodiversity vary in India? How is the Biological Diversity Act 2002 helpful in conservation of flora and fauna? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.